you could be an mba aspirant a cat aspirant who says to himself or herself that hey i'm weak in quant i'm weak in qa for cat the objective of this video is to help you introspect that whether are you truly weak in qa or is there some other very small specific problem if you can solve that then probably even you can score a 99 percentile in qa this video should serve as a awakening Hi I am Darpan Saxena an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and let's get on with the video the idea is simple whether you are watching this one month ahead of cat or one year ahead of it it's all right it's never too late to walk into the actual cat day with a proper mindset it's never too late for that and in this video my objective is to correct your mindset with regards to what you might think is your weakness now quickly i'll start this off that i have created a lot of other videos as well for those who say that hey i'm weak in qa i'm weak in varc i'm weak in dilr i've created last month preparation strategy videos for each of these three apart from that i have also created separate videos on attempt strategy for all of these three and also i've created this very same sequence of videos in which i help you remind yourself that probably you're not weak in qa or in dilr and it's just that you're not able to completely understand that what the real problem is when you solve a qa paper now with that let me quickly take you through what am i trying to say and first of all i would just remind you of what the qa section looks like it's very important for you know for us to have this thing in our perspective this is what it is this is what we expect cat 2022 to be it would be similar to what the last year's cat was and from here even if you analyze some of the more previous year questions what you will realize is that this is somewhat the similar percentage wise break up among the various topics within qa within that also what is very important for you to see which i have also shared in my attempt strategy video for qa that this is something which you need to keep in your head so that you have some sort of algorithm to know that how weak or how strong you are in qa this is the percentile versus the score break up for qa as you can very simply see for you to even get a 99.5 percentile in qa even if suppose you are somebody who's a super stud in qa those guys have to get only 14 questions net correct now if you look at what we have that what are the various questions which they come in the cat you can see that out of the 22 questions majority of them are from arithmetic followed by algebra which means what that even if you are somebody who's strong or who focuses on these two and focus you know and focuses on them properly you can easily find some 16 to 17 questions from just these two topics in itself to solve and from those 16 to 17 if you you know if your accuracy is good then you can easily get 14 questions net correct however that could be a very idealistic scenario that okay we have only 16 questions to play and from that i have to score a uh, 14 however you don't have to get 14 right as well since you are somebody whose strength does not lie in qa how would it harm you even if you were to score a 95 percentile in qa you already know that probably your strength is in varc or in dilr and in qa you just need a good score which can be a saving grace so that it does not significantly spoil your overall percentile and for that even a 95 or a 98 is more than enough it's a very graceful percentile so so say suppose even if you were to say to yourself that okay i'll score only a 95 in qa that's just eight questions net correct out of all of those my idea is to remind you that probably while you may think that you are weak and while you may genuinely while you genuinely may also be weak that should not stop you from scoring a 98 or a 99 or a 95 percentile in qa because at the end of the day you need to be smart in understanding what your real weakness is 
what is a workaround from your weakness so that you can still make use of your strengths and do a great job at it. Now quickly, I will help you understand the mindset which you need to have and probably, you know, frankly, it's never too late to walk into the cat with the right mindset. And if you're somebody who says a few things to yourself that, hey, I'm, I'm weak in this, I'm weak in all of that, then this slide is very important for you. Now, on this slide, I have compiled the most important things, the most important queries which students say to me, the ones who are weak in QA. Let's look at a few of them. A lot of students, they say to me that, hey, sir, we, that we know, we understand that arithmetic is a very vast area. You know, it has a lot of questions in CAT. It has a lot of weightage in it. But, sir, unfortunately, the problem is I am weak in arithmetic. Well, if this is a problem which resonates with you, then you need to ask yourself some why. That why is it that you are weak at arithmetic? And probably when you ask yourself enough number of whys, 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 probably you would realize that the real problem is not that you're just weak in arithmetic, but it is probably that, okay, it could be, and in a lot of cases it is, that you're slow in calculations or you do not use approximations, you do not make use of good tricks to approximate because CAT does not want you to calculate a lot. Though they give you a calculator, but that's not what their intention is. Their intention is to see what is your level of aptitude and hence probably the gap which is making you not reach your goals in QA is that your calculations are slow and probably you've not learnt enough approximations. Now, I was a student who was like this, you know, I always thought that, hey, my math is weak, my calculations is slow and hence my arithmetic is weak. However, for this very same thing in my preparation strategy video for QA, I had advised you that if you're somebody who's fearing that, okay, what I might be expected to calculate, I don't know, the simplest advice which I gave you, which, and, and you know, and you must watch that video again that for QA, the best advice is just go ahead and solve the previous year QA questions. There is not one thing which can come outside of all of those. All the questions in QA which you will see are similar to the questions which have already been asked. Aisa kuch aur nahi hai, job new create ho raha hai, unhi mein se sab kuch aata hai. Broadly, that is the way to crack QA. Now, a second, second problem with you could be another problem. So if suppose you are somebody who says that, no, I am fairly okay in my calculations, but there is some other problem and I still feel that, hey, I'm weak in arithmetic, I'm scared of it. And what to do? It is a huge section and, you know, it is a huge topic and we need to be great at it. If you're somebody who says that, no, my calculation is fine, then what could be the problem? The second problem could be, that your awareness is not that good. Arithmetic is a very large topic. Within arithmetic, you have some four or five different topics in itself. So probably if you're saying you're, that you're weak in arithmetic, you probably have not realized enough that which topics within arithmetic are your strengths. This is what I mean to say here, that probably you might realize that, okay, Within arithmetic, I have a strong hate for time, speed and distance and hence because of the hate towards that just one sub topic, I have a hate, you know, I have suddenly demonized the entire arithmetic section. Some students, they go beyond all of that, that just because one of the sub sections are weak, they feel that, okay, my entire QA is weak. It's not like that. So probably another way to see it is that, okay, if you're saying that, okay, my arithmetic is weak, which areas inside it can you still solve? That is the question because I'm sure that when you start to see the various sub topics within arithmetic, you'll always find something which you can solve. That is what is very important for you. Now from there, what if you're somebody, you know, who has understood that, yes, you're right, Darpan, that I know exactly which sub-topic inside arithmetic I am weak in, even if you know that, suppose. And here, I'm using arithmetic only as an example. It could also be that, hey, 
I think that algebra is weak. However, now after speaking to you, Darpan, I realize that no, my entire algebra is not weak. Only a particular subtopic inside of it is weak. Some students, they do understand it, that yes, I have a particular topic within arithmetic which is weak. However, I am still saying, you need to cross-check with yourself that whether even if you have identified that, hey, suppose I am weak in TSD, whether are you really weak in TSD or not? What does weak in TSD really mean? When you are saying that I am weak within a particular subtopic, probably what you mean is that I can't solve level 2 and level 3 questions of that particular topic. Which means what? Which means that weakness in a certain topic does not mean that you cannot solve anything from that. You would be very stupid if you were to forego some very simple level 1 questions in a topic which you could have solved. You would lose out on extra marks unnecessarily just because you have demonized a particular topic or a particular chapter. What happens is that students do not even read that whether the question is something which they can do or not. So probably, for example, if you are somebody who says that, you know, I am weak in geometry, suppose, then you need to hold yourself back and say that, okay, I'm not weak in geometry. All I'm saying is that if it is a very simple question, a question directly from the class 10th book, then I can solve it. However, if they start to complicate that question, then I can't solve it. So you need to operate with that level of awareness. The reason is because on the cat day, you need to find one, one question from where you can solve it. एक एक सवाल important हो जाता है तो अगर आप ऐसा कोई सवाल छोड़ रहे हैं if you are leaving a question in the cat which you could have solved but you are leaving it just because you feel that you know I am weak in this area I am weak in this area that is not going to help you now a lot of students they also say to me that okay I am weak in algebra this is a very common problem that you know while arithmetic is good but algebra is also a major section for us how do we solve that what is the problem with that so this is also the third thing which i have heard a lot then specifically for algebra what i would advise you is this one very simple thing algebra can predominantly be solved by generalizations this is what it is generalize and substitute the values of x I have worked as a product head at Career Launcher and I know and a lot of CAT aspirants would know this GP from CL. His quant tricks work the best. He is the best at it. He can help you understand what tricks you need to use. And for that, all you have to do is just watch some of his YouTube videos on the CL channel. I can advise you all of that since I've seen it happen, since I've, since I've been a student of that organization as well as I've worked at that organization in the past. And therefore, if you're somebody who's weak in algebra, then probably you're not weak in it. You don't know the right tips and tricks to solve it. That is something which you need to know. That is something which you can understand that yes, even you can solve algebra and even you can do well in it. Now, one final problem point which I have not included in my slide however I will quickly speak about it now again you can see in front of you that what is the breakup of the QA one very important thing which a lot of students they ask me that sir we are not good at geometry suppose how do we do it I mean should we do geometry how to do and you know it's going to be a big issue for us this and that just look at your screen and here is something which is very simple to understand that there could be certain topics which you may feel that this entire topic I am not good at. What if I leave it suppose? You can see that there were probably three questions from geometry. What if I tell you that while geometry seems to be a standalone topic Probably in CAT 2021, there were more questions of TSD within arithmetic than there were of geometry. Which means that probably you need to focus more on the areas 
which have more number of questions in them because within those areas certain small chapters actually have more weightage or get more questions in the cat than some of the entire topics for example geometry for example modern math so again this is one of the other realizations which you quickly need to have for you to do well in QA well that was it from my end my objective was to help you understand that what all things are important for you to feel right and feel good about your QA even if you're somebody who says that I am weak probably you are not weak probably you've not been able to zero down upon what is the real problem that was my objective for you in this video I'll see you in another one on your journey towards CAT and your MBA program thanks a lot and goodbye